So this area here must have been an old flower garden years ago that had just grassed over. I had to shovel it out. It was a pretty good hump. So I had to clean it all out in order to make a nice flat surface for the new garden bed. So the first thing I like to do is measure out uh, where you're going to start your, your garden stone wall. At the very start measure out from the home and then at the end of the wall measure out from the home as well and make sure you got the same distance. Once I've measured each end from the home, uh, drive the stake in and then I like to tie a string line from one stake to the other and that'll help uh, guide you as you go along with your garden stones, making sure everything's straight. So my stones are about 8 inches wide, so I'm going to cut a trough about 10 inches wide just to give me a little leeway there when I lay the garden stones. You can pick up uh, one of these sod cutters at any hardware store. Uh, they slice down through the sod nice and it makes for a nice straight cut. So I like to shovel out the topsoil and go down to uh, hit a gravel base. This property here, it was about six inches deep. Every property is probably different, but uh, it's about six inches deep here before I hit a good base. Once you've removed all that topsoil, uh, now you can add your crusher dust. This is like a small angular stone that compacts really good. Uh, we'll spread this out, rake it out about three or four inches thick, and then we'll tamp it, and then we'll add, uh, add some more crusher dust to bring it up level with the existing sod. So this is a small plate compactor that I have. It works really well for jobs like this. You can also use a tamper, 8 inch or 10 inch tamper. You can pick them up at any hardware store. I've done lots of jobs just by using the hand tamper. Uh, they're just as good. I like to go over it three or four times just to make sure it's good and hard before we add more material. So now I'll shovel some more crusher dust on just to bring everything up level before we start laying the garden stones. So the first two or three stones I put down I always make sure that they're nice and level. They kind of set the course for the rest of the stones as you go. And you can see the string line there. I'll put that string line in front of each stone and just barely brush it up against the stone, not moving the string and that allows me to follow that string keeping a nice straight line as we build our wall.
as I'm laying each stone, I carry a rubber mallet with me. Sometimes uh, a stone may need a tap just to seat it down level with the previous stone. Or sometimes you need to take a brush a little bit of crusher dust out or add a little bit as you go. Here we're going to add a little curb appeal at the end of the wall. It's kind of like a half moon shape. We're also going to bring our garden wall all the way around uh, in close to the home just to help close everything in, give it that nice finished look. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope these tips help you on your next project.